Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona's channel in English. No, um, well, <laughs> that no didn't count here. Today we have some news to talk about. You know, I like to read the media and to check to to take the best or the most interesting news for you about Barcelona. Of course, there are many news to talk about, but here. I con I consider uh, well. Here we talk just about Barcelona, as I'm going to prove you in a few minutes. But let me remind you: if you like Barcelona, if that's the team of your dreams, the team of your love, this is your channel. Here we read the media in Spanish, and then we translate it into English to make you know what's going on the day by day in Barcelona, the club of your dreams. Okay. So if you like our videos, please. Hit the subscribe button like this you will not miss any of them and without more delay let's start well today we're sort of talking about no not Ter Stegen Ter Stegen is all right today we start talking about the training session because the Barcelona, Xavi actually, not Barcelona, Xavi decided that after that 4-0 against Athletic, the players deserve three days off. Okay, not just one, not just two, three. Don't ask me why, okay? But 11 players of this, uh, of the, of the plantel decided to go to train, to the, uh, They are Piqué, Pedri, Alba, Frankie de Jong, Alves, Busquets, Memphis Depay, Ferran Torres, Breathwaite, and Ter Stegen. Six of them, they started, uh, they were in the starting 11, no, in the line app. And some of them, they came after. Now, in the line app, we have Pe uh, Piqué, Frankie de Jong, no, sorry, Piqué, Alves, Busquets, Ferran Torres, and Ter Stegen. I don't see where is the, the sixth because I'm reading six players now. Uh, <laughs> from the six players, six were... <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense what they said. And then from those, we had some players who came after, no? For example, uh, Memphis Zepai came after, Frankie de Jong came after, no? The second, in the second part. So, but the, the, the session, it should be today, no? Uh, the, this means something for me, and this means that the dynamic that Barcelona has got is not casual, it's not because the players are better with Xavi that also, but also because the, the players are more implicated in the program. No, because when you, for example, uh, imagine you're in a project as Xavi is doing, no, no, and then If you go to work, even when they give you free time, knowing that that will help the project to be better and to increase, so that means your implication is higher now. And that's something that, as far as I know, with Kuman never happened. I don't know if because of the players, because Kuman, because the ambience. I, I, I think, and I agree with one of the journalists I read the other day, That it's not just because of Kuman, it's because of the players, okay? Kuman is the, the, the one who did the tactics, better or worse, you can decide on that, but at the end it's the players who play. And if the players don't think, uh, don't want to, to do that much, so Kuman can't do anything, no? Today also talking about, uh, I read in the media, they are saying like, Xavi is a genius, Xavi is wonderful. No? Xavi, since the moment he was a, a football player, I remember Xavi when he was a captain before Messi, he, he was all the time giving indications to his players, or, or to his mates, no? and all the time helping them to because Chavi's lecture or the, the way he understands football the way he sees the match it's really wonderful i mean it's one of his best skills the decision making in the moment the 
the way he check the 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 field, the, how where everyone is, what can what what's the best option? Xavi was wonderful in that. Xavi and Iniesta, of course, both of them uh, they were wonderful on that on those characteristics. But uh, this he transmits now being on the bench. That's why all of us was so happy of having Xavi because we know what he can give to Barcelona. The point today I read, and let me check what they were meaning, is that the one who didn't want uh, to Xavi to come, it was Joan Laporta. Uh, we talk about that here, actually. Xavi, the problem of having Xavi is that Laporta's influence is it's less, no? Uh, it's less because uh, with Kuman, with these, uh, with Kuman and with other coaches, Laporta would have the the chance to put the director of sports, the to put people that he trusts in on those places. Okay, uh, for example, Jordi Creve, he's on the on a, on a technical area, etc. With Xavi, that's more difficult because Xavi wants the uh, those positions or those yeah those positions to be people that he can trust because those pe that pe uh, those people will he knows that he, they will help him and that's the problem with Laporta that Laporta doesn't know how those people work and he cannot trust them no that's a bit was the internal problem between Laporta and Xavi even though Laporta of course I think he knew that Xavi was wonderful no and this is a moment I wanted to tell to reach we're not going to talk about Jerry uh, because Jerry is wonderful, he's a great player, but he's not from Barcelona. Uh, I don't think you know this. In Spain, for a long, 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 long time, during, before the world, before the Euro Cup, after the Euro Cup, and go on, Luis Enrique, the national manager, Spanish national manager or coach, whatever you want to, to call it, decided to bring very young players, players like Pedri, Gavi, or Ferran Torres. And many people was discussing this kind of of, of decisions. No? Uh, people like Sarabia, who is in PSG, but he doesn't play and he was a bit lost. Uh, many, many young players th uh, that broke a bit the, the dynamic. Actually, Luis Enrique wanted to get uh, Sergio Ramos, but Sergio Ramos was injured, Piqué was hurt, he brought Alba, but at the beginning he didn't want Alba, so he was trying to get younger players to create his own team, and many people was criticizing that, until the moment that everything showed up, showed up sorry, and it was proved that Luis Enrique was right. You know? And all, many of these players uh, many people were saying, oh, that's because he's passed from Barcelona, because he still wants a Barcelona, a, a Spanish team like Barcelona. Then consider that, really. I mean, many players, many young players who came from 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 other teams, for example, Adama, when he was not in Barcelona, Ferran Torres, when he was in Manchester United, in Manchester City. Now, Xavi, knowing that more or less they're their system and their way they want to play is more or less the same. He asked those players to come to Barcelona, but before, no. Pedri and Gabi are wonderful players, and Pedri, Luis Enrique was always with them. That's why he counted on them, and that's why Xavi still does it. If you see Xavi, Xavi counts on Pedri and Gabi sometimes even more than Frankie de Jong. Gabi, it's so young and still is in the starting 11 in many matches. So those are wonderful. The point here is that these days I've seen people comparing Pedri with Iniesta, even though the, so the, the media, one of the newspapers, was comparing the, that, the information, like uh, Pedri is playing with the Spanish national team with 18 years old, uh, but Iniesta had to wait until he was 21. Uh, 
things like that. Like when he, they got their first title, the first goal, makes no sense, really. And I'm saying this because, for example, the Spanish national team, when Iniesta came to the Spanish national team, there was um, Clemente, if I'm, no, Clemente, no. Well, a guy that actually he was in Real Madrid after that. I don't remember his name. It's quite famous. Uh, with Pedri, it's Luis Enrique. So even though, even though those comparisons that can be like, oh, look, so so interesting. For that, it doesn't represent anything. If you tell me, oh, Luis Enrique is the one who did the the, the list then and now, then I would say, wow, well, yeah, it makes it makes some sense, you no? Know? But Comparing these things as, for example, when they score the first goal, uh, imagine the the first match that, I don't know, the first five matches that played Iniesta was against the first five in the table, the first five teams in the table, and Pedri played the first five and they scored in the fifth, but playing against the last five teams in the table. It's not the same. I mean, the conditions are quite different. To make these comparisons, no? but what is clear is that the Pedri is fantastic, and I wish he to, him to stay for long in Barcelona. And today the main news was Dembele. Now, after the match of yesterday, or well, yesterday the day I watch it, after the match of Sunday, or after Sunday's match, everything, everyone is speculating what's going on. There are some media saying that Dembélé didn't sign with any team because he's expect, still expecting what Barcelona is going to ha to do. Barcelona thinks that Dembélé really signed with another team, that's why his pretension is so high. And in other media, they are saying that his agent is the problem, that Dembélé really wants to stay. I, I think that's not right. Dembélé, Piqué, actually, uh, Piqué once gave the, the, the idea. Piqué is the one who is next to Pique, to Dembélé. He's in the uh, he's on the bench. Okay, he's on, in the team with all of them. So any any journalist, whoever, even though they are journalists, even though they study, even though whatever, they don't contact Dembélé. They don't call Dembélé and say, "Hey, are you going to stay?" And Dembélé can say whatever, but Piqué is the the reference, the the real one, and. And this, uh, the Pique said clearly that Dembele never said anything about that. So I think Dembele. Is low. Ooh. Please okay, the battery is low. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. So I think the most convenient is to listen to Pique. What Pique said. Pique said that Dembele said nothing. Said nothing. If you renew or not, for me, I keep saying that even though the match of yesterday was fantastic for them, but I, I keep considering that he has many qualities, but for what he's asking, if he reduces everything or whatever, then yes. But if not, I think Dembele must reduce his salary a lot and to be the situation of the club better. To consider to renew it but something i want to tell you is that we need more players like dembele players that don't think just as a team but to take individual actions because dembele that's what makes him special no he doesn't play with a team he plays by himself to try to do his best and then if he finds a situation where he can pass the ball and generate better so better but if he can do it by himself he will do it by himself but we need more players like the two, three, like we had before Ronaldinho, Ibrahimovic, uh, Messi, players like that. And I think that's what Barcelona needs to be even better. No? And that's all for today, guys. I want to know your opinion about that last topic. What did you do with Dembele? You'd renew him, you, you would ask at least to start a conversation, or you let him go, do whatever you want, because we did the, ma the, the maximum we could for you. No? Well, whatever your opinion is, leave it there on the comment section. Also, hit the like button if you like it, and see you in the next video. Have a nice day.